Hello, my name is Michael. Today we're gonna make some fermented food, which is right now we're gonna make uh, wine. So from, I'm from the from NDDU 1210 of biology. So we're gonna make we're gonna make some fermented food. So we get, I'm gonna start listing the ingredients now. Next we'll be adding uh, one kilogram of white sugar. We're gonna start mixing it gradually. So we can First up, we're gonna put the cheese clock over this so we can start extracting the juices from the rest of the pulp or the skins of the grapes. So let's get right to that. Okay, we got uh, three more components. We got lukewarm water. We got one tablespoon of white sugar and little some some store bought yeast. The yeast will start the wine fermentation first. Then we add the sugar and the yeast. Start mixing it up. Oops. Okay, we're on the one, the final step of making the wine. We got the jar. We got the now strained grapes from the cheesecloth. There's no no pulps, no skin, just this juice with all the stuff in it, and our active yeast, which we're gonna start putting in. Then, though this is more of an optional, but I got some cinnamon here. That's gonna add some a little more spice to the wine, which might taste pretty good. So let's get right into it. First step is to now we added all of this active yeast into the now strained grapes, which is added all in. I got some one half stick of the cinnamon, so I just dump it in here. And there we go. So this is, this is the final product. Well, start of the final product. We gotta wait for it to last for 14 days, so I'm gonna start doing a time lapse of every day of the process of this. So we'll keep We'll see how much of it changes after 14 days and we'll see the end result in two weeks. He was up. Um, here's some, here's an update on the day after the baking of the wine since yesterday. This is the day two. As you can see, it, the yeast will technically it's right making bubbles. So it's ready. It's, it's a little more darker than usual. As you can see, this is, uh, welcome back. Uh, this is day, I'm second, day three of the winemaking. Uh, I don't know if you can actually see, but it looks like it's a little brighter in color and much less bubbles than yesterday. The foam at least. Welcome back. This is the fourth day. As you can see, this is the wine again. Some some differences. It last time I it looks like it was a little more darker now, but major ones are the bubbles are gone or the foam that's by the yeast mostly gone now so this is day five of the wine project so here is the uh the fifth day so much nothing really much no most of the bubbles are gone but there's a lot more i think it's the yeast in the bottom but yeah nothing much really changed it's uh day six i believe yeah day six this is uh the end of the day later of the wine so I decided.
a little more clear. But I don't know. Welcome back. This is uh, day 12. Once again, the wine right here. This is a quick update. Nothing really changed at all. I'm pretty sure it's done, but we'll just wait for two more days on the 14th. On the 14th day of this, will be done. Okay, this is the 13th day, which is will be tomorrow. Will be the final day, and we'll get the tasting, and it will be the final part of the vid. So this is just the just normal. It may look darker in my camera, but it's a lot lighter. But We'll get to taste it to tomorrow. So, we'll just see you on the 14th day then. See you then. It's me again, and um, this is the final the final winemaking. So we're about to start beginning uh, what it tastes like and how it smells like at first. We're gonna show some clips of the 14 day process. So, we'll see that. Many microbes are capable of attaining energy by consuming sugars, and many liberate the alcohol, ethanol, as a byproduct. Unfortunately for microbes, they are also producing their own very own poison. Ethanol will kill most microbes even at low concentrations. Fortunately for us, yeast is different. It can survive up to 20% ethanol before it overcome. And for melania, we have made it made use of this ability in many fruitful ways. So this is the final journey. I guess, sorry, I'm gonna smell this first like most wine people will do. First of all, it doesn't smell like grapes. It smells like alcohol or ethanol, if you prefer, because all this stuff, the yeast is made, just made of the ethanol. So, pretty strong taste if you have a sensitive nose, but if you're professional or an amateur, in my case, it'll, it'll overwhelm you. So now, the big part is tasting. Remember, this is a two week process for 14 days, so it really depends how much time you do it, like in Rome or Italy, do it for years. So let's see. It's pretty strong. <laughs> it's really strong. It depends on your tongue, but I, I have experience in this, but yeah, it's very strong. There are some grapes, and uh, I can did, did taste the cinnamon or and the sp other spices. And when we did it, remember the cinnamon was was an option, but it does add some flavor into it. But first of all, it's not really that. It's, it's really good for me, but it, it depends on your taste. What we did was just use red wines or greens, but if you use blackberries, we made red. It technically, this is white wine. So, first of all, it does taste good, and the process is very, very long. 